I had it over there on the board earlier, is uh, vector and scalar consistency. Now here's what I mean by that. So we already saw that whenever you have a certain formula or um, uh, some answer, the units have to work out. The another thing that has to work out is vector and scalar consistency. So all definitions and uh, uh, theorems and derived answers Derived, uh, I guess I could say derived equations have to follow the rules of vector and scalar addition and multiplication. So all definitions and theorems. So whether I define something or whether I discover a certain law of nature, that law of nature has to be consistent with what I define to be a vector or a scalar. And any other derived equations have to follow the rules of vector and scalar addition and multiplication. So for example, again, if I defined, uh, I defined the uh, kinetic energy as one half mv squared, right? So, if the left side of the definition is a scalar, the right side of the equation must also be a scalar. Okay? So, is kinetic energy a scalar? By definition, it is. So, this is a scalar. It has no direction. Energy has no direction. How about mass? Now you can look back at that uh, table that we did earlier. Mass is scalar or vector? Okay, scalar. You don't worry about the uh, two, that's just a number. Times, scalar times a what? What's velocity? Vector times a vector. Okay. Times a, let's see, so scalar times vector. Now, when we're saying half mv squared, what are we saying? And whether are your members dot product, you will remember that a vector squared is equal to a vector dot product with its with its with itself, right? A vector dot product with itself gives you its magnitude squared. Remember that from the dot product. So, what we really mean when we're saying velocity squared will really mean the velocity vector dotted into itself, which ends up equaling just its magnitude squared. So, scalar times vector, dot product with vector. Now, does that work out in terms of vectors? Scalar, a vector, dot product with a vector is a scalar, right? Vector dot product with a vector is a scalar. It's just a number. And then scalar times a scalar is just a number times a number. It just gives you a number. So you end up with a number. You see? So uh, the kinetic energy definition works out. Now, could I have defined kinetic energy like this? Could I have defined kinetic energy as half m v vector crossed into the v vector? Well, actually, that would have given me a zero, right? The vector crossed into itself is zero. But, but 
forget that for a second, <laughs> okay? In terms of vectors, would it have worked out? No, it wouldn't work out. You know, in other words, uh, even if I don't cross it into itself, let's say I cross it into another vector. Let's just say what other vector? A vector, let's say. Okay? Would this have worked out? Well, no, not really, because a vector crossed into a vector is a vector. The cross product gives you a vector. Therefore, kinetic energy would be forced to be a vector. So then we would have to go back and talk about, is energy a vector or not? Does it have a direction? It doesn't make sense for energy to have a vector. If energy is just the qu quantity of how much um, stuff you have, how much energy you have, then you can't have direction to it. So then it wouldn't make sense. Or otherwise, we would have to go back and revamp our definition of energy to include direction, you see? So in other words, we can't just simply define this as a cross product. So it doesn't work. How about F equals MA? Does that work out in terms of uh, vectors? Does that work out in terms of vectors and scalars? That, that uh, law? Okay. Well, this is a Newton, right? I mean, uh, sorry, not scale. I'm not doing scalar analysis. Vectors. This is a vector. Is that equal to a scalar times a vector? Is a scalar times a vector a vector? Right? It is, yeah. If you just multiply a vector by, like, let's say you take a vector, let's say you take a vector like this, let's say this happens to be the vector A, and if I multiply the, the, the vector by 2A, 2A is another vector that's twice as long, but it's also a vector, you see? So F equals MA makes sense in terms of vectors. The left side is a vector, the right side is a vector. You see? So the same thing can be said about any other, either equation or definition. If the left side is vector, right side has to be vector, and the units have to work out. Okay? Now.